Hello and welcome to this laptop LCD hacking series. I hope it will be series. Uh, I have this uh, quite uh, good laptop. Uh, when I was younger I was interested in how is the LCD display connected to the main board. Uh, I was thinking that there's so many wires but not anymore. This is the only connection to the LCD. Now I know that there is LVDS of uh, signaling between the main board and LCD. Uh, luckily I have this interesting FPGA from Lattice. One of many nice uses of this board is this example and in this example I can connect this FPGA to the LCD without the motherboard. It's, it's quite nice development and si simple board. Uh, there's a lot of uh, similar projects on the internet, but I have different LCD and different FPGA, so uh, it would be interesting play. There's a lot of similar projects on the internet, but I have uh, different LCD and different FPGA, so I will have to figure out how to connect these devices together and uh, make some picture on the screen. So I would need to investigate a little bit how to drive it. Uh, this computer is HP Compaq 8710W. Uh, it has 17 inch uh, widescreen LCD and it seems that uh, the resolution is 1680 by 1050. Maybe it could be a higher resolution but I'm not sure which exactly is this type. Uh, this uh, unit uh, is not a working. It has no battery, no disk drive, no memory. Uh, it has some issues with booting, so the screen itself even won't turn on. So it will be quite difficult uh, to figure out uh, which connections I have to use. And I cannot probe the LVDS data lines to search for a clock. So there will be some small reverse engineering. I hope it will be quite interesting. Okay, so the first thing I will have to do is uh, power up the laptop. I don't have uh, original power supply, so I have to hack some wires uh, into the board itself and we will see what will happen. So I've connected wires for my power supply directly to the connector and uh, the power is already on the wires but the computer won't turn on because it's smart computer. It has smart pin and oh no this shouldn't happen okay and the smart pin has to be connected to the VCC with 1k resistor and the fan should spin okay it's working now I've put a smart 1k resistor actor across these two pins so when I turn the power on, the computer starts. And this is what is wrong with this computer. It turns on, then it turns off itself again and it goes on and on and on. As you can see the LEDs are blinking and it's booting, then restarting and all over again. But luckily it turns on for a few seconds so we can figure out uh, how the LCD is drived and uh, get uh, some ideas about uh, the power supplies and enable signals to, for the LCD. So I've put both pieces together, connected this wire. Uh, now we will see what will happen when I turn this on. Okay, the fan should start spinning, it's on, turn on and LCD does nothing. It's completely black. So the next step will be uh, I'll take a look on this inverter for backlight. Okay the computer is restarting. Now I have to probe the inverter board so I will see whether it's working or it is damaged. We have 70 volts coming in. There's a fuse, so I check the voltage behind the fuse. Yeah, the fuse is okay. 
And there should be two another signals, one uh, for enabling the backlight and another one for backlight intensity. So I'll take a look on the first pin. Yeah, we have 5 volt. So the enable signals probably is working. It's turned off, restarting and turning on again. Fine. And now the analog uh, dimming signal. Oh, there's nothing. Okay, we see zero here. So I'll try to bridge uh, the dimmer input with the enable input and we will see what will happen. Okay, let's take a brief look uh, on the inverter board. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the input for, and this is the output uh, for the fluorescent light or something like that. There's a transformer, there's uh, pairs of FETs and the driving circuit. Uh, I've already bridged the enable pin with dimming input and let's try this little hack and we will see if the display will turn on. Okay, so the inverter board is botched and connected together and now let's see what happens. Now connecting, the fan is spinning and LCD, yeah, the LCD is, yes, the backlight is turned on somehow, not too much, but it is. Okay, so backlight is working. It's not too bright right now, but uh, this is the point where we can start and see uh, whether the panel is working somehow. The display isn't showing anything, also it's black, but backlight is working. Nice. This is the back of the LCD panel. Uh, these wires are just some test wires, uh, so don't look at them right now. And now uh, let's look a little bit closer on this board. Let's take a look closer on this LCD driver board. This is the LVDS input connection. Uh, you can see some thicker traces here, so this should be power ground. Uh, this is uh, EEPROM which uh, tells the computer which, uh, how big resolution this display has. And this is the interesting thing. Usually you see like four differential pairs on LVDS display connection, but because this display has fairly high resolution, it has double of LVDS pairs. So this is kind of uh, scary, but we will see if we can drive this display. Um, there is some power circuitry for the powering and here you can see LVDS to LCD panel converter. So now I'll take a look on some traces. I'll measure the ground and the thick wire on the connector. The computer is turned on and it's resetting. Nothing there. Uh, then there's uh, EEPROM, EEPROM, and uh, this EEPROM contains information about resolution and timing for this display. And the power for this chip is separately connected. So let's take a look on this capacitor. And we have 3 volts. Now the computer turned off and on again. So, okay, at least uh, we know the computer is reading something, or at least powering the EEPROM chip. And then uh, there are LVDS pairs, so I can do nothing with them right now with my multimeter. So the next step will be, uh, as you probably see, try to power this uh, panel from outside power source and see what will happen. After a quick search, I found data sheet for the backlight driver. So this is fairly usual 
BigLife driver not only for laptop but also for LCD screens and there's some basic schematics so you can get an idea how to connect uh, enable signal and dimming input. This datasheet has more important stuff in it. It is original specification for LCD and there's some useful information like the resolution of the panel and this is great. This is the actual pinout of the connect of the connector so we know which differential pair has uh, data which has clock in it and there's one interesting input this one best control which is built in self-test so if this pin is set height there should be some test pattern on the panel great then there's also timing specification and here is uh, front porch and back porch these numbers are good great to have and this is the data in uh, EEPROM memory and you can get also the front porch and back porch information from this table everything is connected back together I've added some 3.3 volt uh, step down converter it's some Chinese module uh, which converts uh, 19 volts from the power supply to the 3 volts for the panel uh, I also have a ampere meter in series so I can check the current it should be uh, something about uh, 650 milliamps so let's turn it on okay 800 not too much and yes we have a testing image in there Here you can see testing colors, now red, green, PC is restarting, blue and white. So that's great, the panel is working and now uh, I'll have to find out how to connect LVDS. I played a few hours with the LCD backlight driver and now the backlight is set to maximum. I hope you have enjoyed this first part and if you like to see next one please subscribe, thumb up or down this video and if you have uh, any questions or comments please write them down below. Goodbye!